If you've read or watched reviews about this game, then yep, they're all correct when they said that it's a cuteness overload. It's very cute, from character portraits to the NPC's personalities, and even the loots are cute. How is that even possible? But that's not all it has to offer. In Snacko, all the characters are cute animals, including us. A kitty! So this means that we can sleep in boxes. How adorable is that? Anyways, in the beginning, we are met with a lot of dialogue, but it'll be easy to understand and follow, and it also gives us an idea of Momo and Mikan's dynamics. And like in all farming life sims, we get to farm, fish, craft stuffs, decorate, build relationships, all while doing a story quest. And here, the story revolves around finding the goddess who has been gone for a while now because the citizens stopped believing in her. Well, at least that's the story we know for now. But because the goddess was gone, strange miasma covered some parts of the island. This prevents us from exploring the different areas, so it's up to us to lift the curse and restore the island to its former glory. Snako also has a bit of a base building element as one of our tasks would be to restore the town. We get to invite shopkeepers, residents, and help them build a home to settle in the island. The 2.5 D rotation of this game was also on point, but it was a bit difficult to play it using a controller. It was a lot easier using a keyboard and mouse. And maybe it's the 2.5D style or the farming elements, but this game actually reminds me a lot of Pornocopia. It's another early access game that I really enjoyed. My favorite part of this game is that you can manually save anytime and anywhere. But maybe because Nako is still in very early access, like it literally just got released, so I felt like it's a wee bit empty, even though it has a huge map. There's nothing much to do in the first few days too, so I ended up sleeping very early to progress with the story. I also kinda wish that there would be better instructions or clues on how we can get materials for crafting. There's also a lot of bugs for now, like suddenly getting isekai to this... thing? It also crashed a couple of times for me, but I honestly think that this will be a good game once we get more quests and adventure and a couple more polishing. I've actually watched this game's development closely by stalking their social media account a long time ago. Don't worry, this is normal. I like stalking developers. And hey, I'm just so happy that it's finally released after all that delay. So a big congratulations to Blue Curse Studios and thank you so much to Player2 for gifting us with a key. I'm really happy with how the game turned out. So, what do you think about Snackle? Let me know in the comments. And super thanks to our channel members and Patreons as always. We're also hosting a couple of multiplayer games on our Discord server with prizes and stuff. So check them out, link in the description. And don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Indian cozy game discoveries coming your way. Bye bye